guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 11 of season 4 of Overlords. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Are we here to tell the king the bad news about us? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. And your son is dead. So he might die at the end of this too. Uh oh, baby crying. Escape with the baby. out of his name you might get angry <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> Better get the f damn. Oh no, she's here. Better make that announcement.
come with me. Let's go. It's okay. Coco doll will be fine. <laughs> yes, he will awaken. No, really, he'll we reawaken. <laughs> Dang, they all gotta live. <laughs> Woo! Okay. There's that dang Iron Man looking thing. Jesus Christ. Oh, don't run away now. I mean, mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Of course. I mean, yeah, you thought like maybe life has this one was gonna take all the HP. Come on now. <laughs> oh
wanted to play with Zika. Oh my god. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, of course, it's the same thing that's in the opening, duh, but. See, he's he's using that for some reason, just to make maybe his MP stamina and everything else up, because there's no way in world in the world that Riku is gonna have his HP be that freaking small, and for Ayn to be like like a dang toothpick. So no, he's planning something else. Oh, that thing is way too OP. And he's not even using his hands. Like, oh, <laughs> It's him in general. Mm hmm
still gonna say no. I mean, come on now. I ain't gonna join until like season five. So, hold, hold up. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? <gasps> I did not think it would be him inside of that. Out of all the people, because we just met him last week, and he's the one. No, it's more of the other way around. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I 
See, uh, okay. But see, hold on, wait, wait, wait. What if it's not a man? What if it's a woman? It wouldn't surprise me if it's a woman. Um, okay. Obviously, it was very kind of obvious that they were going to use Pandora's actor because, of course, they didn't want the actual Ainz to get hurt. So, of course, yes, we have to use fucking Morris. Oh, my gosh. It's fucking hilarious. I can't. But I'm happy. He got to, have, he got to shine in this episode because, yes, it's been a while. It's been like a hot minute since the last episode we had with Pandora's actor in it. So, yes, it's always a good thing in my book. I'm just saying. Oh, but, yeah, is it just me or did this episode go by fast? It felt like it, like really, like one minute we were like at the beginning, we were at the halfway, and then boom, we're at the end. We only probably got like what two more weeks, two more weeks with the show left, bruh. And it feels like the show just started. <laughs> I don't want this to end. Oh my god. Because who knows whatever the heck season five is coming. And then I think, for, like, let's say season five ain't coming for, like, a good couple of years from now. That's when I'm probably going to be like, yeah, it's time to read. It's time to read. It is time to go look at the actual source material. I mean, it would make sense. But something tells me. The dragon and uh, what's-her-face's uncle. What if they were both also players that Ainz our actual eyes knew when he was still a human. Maybe. I don't know. But, like, because the dragon was talking about the fact is, oh, like, you know, maybe Alberto is a player and Ainz is an NPC. And it's like, ha ha, that's so funny. Only the funny thing is you got it the other way around. Alberto's the NPC and Ainz is the player and such. And so this is, because it's like, it, it's, it's crazy because you go back to, like, when I watched the show the first time, and I was thinking, like, we we had talked about that, like, a little bit. But I was like, I bet you this is never going to pop up. Like, and even if it does, it's not going to pop up until, like, very, very later on into this show. And we're into season four. And this is finally coming back. So, I like, once again, I do love the fact because between this and Don Machi, because Don Machi is also doing it well. Things that we learned about in season one, no matter how far back that you've seen, they're coming back to light. And we're getting more clarity and context on it so that's like okay remember how you questioned all this this and that between season one and season two here's all the good answers that you've been wondering about for the last couple seasons finally coming up to light and such and that's why i think you know honestly for both shows even though with overlord season four the pacing has been a little bit like up and down like a roller coaster it is still good um, I am hoping that with the last, what, two remaining episodes that we have for this show before it's over for, um, summer seasons going into fall, that yes, it is good and that we do end on a really interesting, whether it is cliffhanger something before, you know, I think what, season three of Isekai Quartet comes out because of course, yeah, you still have, I think the only, what's the only other series in that show? Well, nope, I'm wrong. You, you got two. You got, like, technically two more shows that need to get their season two or whatever the fuck their season two is going to come out. Well, of course, the Saga of Time the Evil and um, Kasha Hero, went, if that show is ever getting a season two and such. And then, you know, Kanasuba season three and then uh, Kanasuba Megamine's spinoff show, whenever the heck that's coming. And so it's just like, oh, like, it's, there's so much waiting and there's so little time and you're like, I want it now. <laughs> Impatient DJ, <laughs> like straight up. But other than that, guys, that is our reaction to be towards episode 11 of season 4 of Overlord. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday or Wednesday for episode 12. Bye, guys.